Greetings to all of our HeartSpring supporters. I am Stacy, and joined here with Megan. And sadly, we are here to talk about CareFest and the need to make this event virtual. Um, we've made a difficult decision, a really difficult decision, um, really with all of our children, families, staff, volunteers, and supporters in mind, um, keeping tabs on the current climate of COVID-19 and the Delta variant, and looking at our local healthcare system and the taxation that they're seeing um, on their system, and looking at the vulnerable population that we serve, knowing that we couldn't rightfully bring on thousands of our dearest friends to our campus and feel you know, good about the safety and their well-being. So we are gonna go virtual. And while we're sad we're not gonna get to celebrate with everybody in person, we have been working really hard the last couple of days to ensure that we give you the best virtual event possible. We learned a few things along the way last year. So I'm gonna let Megan share with you all how we are gonna keep the programming as similar as possible um, to what we had going on and all of the fun things that we have in store for you guys. And we hope you will join us virtually. Yes, this is not our first rodeo. Like <laughs> Stacy said, we've done this before. While we're sad to do it, we're also excited to still keep our mission alive and all of you guys engaged as much as we possibly can. So we have a full schedule, which we will be releasing on our HeartSpring Care Festival website. So be sure to check that out. But just to go over a few highlights for you guys so you know what to expect, we'll be starting off on Friday, August 27th with our virtual art show yeah. so we're looking forward to having all of our artists participate from the community add a picture of your artwork say a little bit about it what you want it to go for we want to get as many artists involved all levels yeah. whether you're a child an expert professional we'd love to get your artwork a part of that virtual I'm so art excited show. for this I think yeah. this could be really cool it will be fun yeah. so feel free to see you look for that post we'll also be doing our care tips live with Tristan here at Heart Springs starting at 5 30 on Friday evening we will still have our national anthem with the famous Cammie Abraham from the Studio Singers. We're looking forward to having her be a part of it as well. And everything that we've all been waiting for, we will be bringing Holly Robinson Pete to our campus. So she'll be kicking off with a live reading of her book along with joining us for the Care Walk, yes, which we're so excited about. We're so about. excited. You can get on and say hello to Miss Holly, yes. walk with us. Yes. Be careful while you're on your phone, but <laughs> it'll be fun. Yeah, so you can walk wherever you want. Um, we'll be on our campus doing our normal route, but feel free to gather your friends up, walk in your neighborhoods, go watch, walk the track, WSU campus, wherever. So that will kind of end our segment on Friday and we'll join right back up on Saturday because the fun doesn't stop on Friday. <laughs> we will be doing our virtual pedal fest event. So we'll be kicking off live here on campus at 8 a.m. Feel free to ride whatever route you want to ride. Yep. You don't have to do the heart spring routes. Um, a lot of work went into putting those together though. Say, They're yes, great Josh rides. did a great job with that. Uh, we will not have our sag stops along these routes, so make sure you plan accordingly to bring your water and all of that along the route, but feel free to join uh, wherever you want to. So grab a group of friends, get out and ride at Pedal Fest. Then we will have our story time again with Miss Holly at 9 a.m. And then we will have Miss Kansas perform as well at 1130. And she'll kick off, kick off our award ceremony where we will go over our largest team, our top teams, all of the fundraisers and all of the hard work that you guys have put in. We don't want that to be lost on anyone. So keep fundraising and doing all of that. Um, I will let you know, Holly Robinson, Pete, we do have a fun event that Stacy can tell you yes. a little bit more about that will not be fully virtual and we still have tickets available. We do. So um, we were going to have the meet and greet here on our HeartSpring campus. We've made the decision to move that. It will be at the Ulrich Museum of Art at um, the Wichita State University campus. We have partnered with Storytime Village as they're preparing to kick off their Kansas Literacy Festival next week. So from um, at 9 o'clock, she'll be going live from the Ulrich to um, read her story to all of the kiddos. So please tune in with us. And then from 9.15 to 9.45, if you go on our website right now, you can purchase a ticket to meet her, have your photo taken, and included with that will be an autographed copy of one of her children's books. And then also there's another ticketed event after that from 10 to 12 at the Ulrich where we are going to be able to hear from Holly, hear about why she's so passionate about autism and how she came to know about HeartSpring and Storytime Village and really just get to hear her personal testimony. We'll have some beautiful hors d'oeuvres as well as Jenny Don Sellers there serving up her Wichita Sangria. So we're really excited for that. 
also I'm so excited to share we reached $110,000 today in fundraising. You guys, we love seeing those dollars go up. Um, because this event is virtual, the need does not go away. So we still have a large fundraising goal, $200,000 that we want to meet. And we know we can do it. If Wichita rallies around us, we can get as close to that as possible. If not, surpass it because you guys are amazing. Um, with COVID, we want to be able to provide, continue to provide all of the services that these children need that we serve day in and day out at HeartSpring. So the funding that CareFest um, creates through all of you allows us to enhance our programs, serve children, provide financial assistance to them, give our therapists and teachers the tools um, that they need to help each of these children and you know, just allow us to be the best that we can be for all of you. So help us reach our goal. Yeah, and another great way to help us meet our goal is to buy merchandise. Hey, yes. So we will still have our t-shirt pickup. I know a lot of you purchased t-shirts on our website and we do still have all of those available. They're all coming in. We'll still have our t-shirt pickup. Um, those same days and times, yep. the Tuesday, August 24th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Wednesday, August 25th, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. It just looks a little different. Yes, it will be drive through <laughs> style. So we will come out to you. Just pull your car up to the conference center. We'll come out. We also have a, fun, a lot of fun swag. So, so much so, cute merchandise. Yes, guys. fun tank tops. They're limited, fun colors, different sizes. We'll have some fans, water bottles, ball so caps. So cute. So that's another great way to purchase HeartSpring merchandise yes. and also go back to our fundraising goal. Yes, so we're we are excited. very excited. Yeah. Can't wait. We'll be modeling some of that. Yes. So yeah. Fun merch. Okay. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be out there repping our, our gear. So um, just a few more reminders. Make sure to join on our Facebook page, our main HeartSpring page, to tune in to all of the virtual fun. We'll have that schedule posted on our website. And let's keep raising money. Yes, get your, fan your friends, <laughs> family together. <laughs> Wear your shirts. Yes. Please bring your signs. We know you all um, love to create those. We want to see them. We want you to tag us. We want you to post all the pictures. Have a great time, and we hope to be as much a part of your experience as you are of ours. This is CareFest 2.0, as we're calling. <laughs> yeah. It's going to happen. Join us virtually.